here is the back of lesson 11. Again, solving different types of problems with different types of measurements. So we're starting with number three. Teresa's soccer team fills up a six water cooler before the game. Each water cooler holds nine liters of water. How many liters of water do they fill? So I have six water coolers and each cooler holds nine liters. I'm going to draw a picture to help me decide what to do. So I have my first cooler with nine liters, a second cooler with nine liters, a third cooler with nine liters, fourth with nine liters, fifth with nine liters, and a sixth with nine liters. If I look, I have six equal groups and I am missing my total. When I know I have equal groups and the size, I know I have to find the total, which is a multiplication problem. So over here on the side, I am going to solve the multiplication problem. Six groups times nine in each group. We have worked a little bit on counting by sixes, but not enough to really do this well. So I'm going to decompose this six into three times nine plus three times nine. I know three times nine is 27, so I'm going to add 27 plus 27, which is going to give me 54. 6 times 9 is 54. The last thing we need to do is write a sentence to answer the problem. So we're going back to the question, how many liters of water do they fill? They fill 54 liters of water. Number four, Dwight purchased 48 kilograms of fertilizer for his vegetable garden. He needs six kilograms of fertilizer for each bed of vegetables. How many beds of vegetables can he fertilize? So I have 48 kilograms total of fertilizer. He needs six kilograms for each of his beds. I have a total, again, of 48 kilograms. And I know that each bag can hold six kilograms. That means I am missing how many groups I need. So I'm going to do a division problem. Let me change colors quickly. Of 48 kilograms divided by, I'm sorry, those circles aren't very big for you, six kilograms. There we go. Okay. 
I can count by sixes to help me get to 48. So I'm going to count 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. This is where I get stuck. I have five fingers out. I'm going to count six more and then add another finger. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Now I have six fingers out. Again, I'm going to count six more and I'm going to add another finger. 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. I have seven fingers showing, so right now with 42, I have seven groups. But I need to keep counting because I need to get to 48. 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. I have eight fingers showing, meaning that I have eight groups when I divide. 48 divided by 6. Let's write a sentence. How many beds of vegetables can he fertilize? He can fertilize 6 beds. Oops, not 6. 8 bets. We can fertilize eight bets. I'm going to give you a minute to write that down. I have to erase the page and move up a little bit so we can see the bottom problem. Okay. Number five. Nancy Bakes seven cakes for the school bake sale. Each cake requires five milliliters of oil. How many milli milliliters of oil does she use? So Nancy's going to bake seven cakes. Each cake needs five milliliters of oil. So we have a total with seven cakes. In each of those cakes, we're going to have five milliliters. I don't know how many milliliters that is. When I look at this picture, I see equal groups of five. So I am going to create a multiplication problem. Seven groups times five milliliters. I'm going to skip count by fives seven times. Five, ten, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. 35 milliliters. Last, a sentence. How many milliliters of oil does she use? She uses 35 milliliters of oil. This brings us to the end of Lesson 11 homework.